Hello everyone and welcome to Zelle. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your mining software to mine the new Zelle Hash algorithm which is part of the Kamiuka mandatory network upgrade. This upgrade goes into effect on July 2nd, 2019 and all proof of work miners will need to update their software so that they can start mining the new algorithm. If you'd like more information about this upgrade, I'll leave a link in the description to our Medium post which details some of the improvements that have been done to the Zelle network as well as improvements done for Zelle nodes to further decentralize the network as well as protect the network from any type of 51% attack. As of the making of this video, we have a little over a thousand blocks left, which calculates to about one day and 11 hours. I'll leave a link in the description to coin blockers so that you can track this yourself. Also, there are 270 miners or 550 workers currently on the Zelle community pool. That number is about 30% of the hash rate for the entire network. We have several other pools, but do keep in mind that as we switch over to the new algorithm, difficulty is going to fluctuate quite a bit for the next couple of days as everyone switches over to the new algorithm. There are several ways to mine the new Zellhash algorithm, but chief among them would be the use of LolMiner, which was developed by Lollydeeb. And Lollydeeb is the person who is largely responsible for helping us develop Zellhash anyway. So this is going to be one of the better miners that you can use to mine Zellhash. But in the interest of decentralization, we also have other options, and that includes MiniZ, which I believe borrows from lol miner a little bit because it's open source uh, but what's really nice about mini z is you're going to get a similar hash rate using this but it does offer a cuda 8 version for older graphics cards as well as a cuda 10 version for newer graphics cards so you kind of run the gamut here if you've got some older mining rigs you want to put to use um, this may be a good option for you and of course they've uh, supplied the sha 256 so that you can do a check sum on these make sure everything is on the up and up and I have already tested both of these miners and got very similar results with the two but again it's nice to have this option to be able to put some older hardware to use. Last but not least of course is Awesome Miner which is more or less just a client that allows you to make use of all of the different mining software that's out there. Right now Lull Miner is built in to Awesome Miner, so that will be probably the easiest way for most people to get up and running with the new algorithm. In fact, you might not have to do much at all if you're already configured, except for switching it from Equihash 1445 over to Equihash 1254, and I'll show you how to do that right now. This really isn't going to be much different than the existing pool that you have, except for the fact that you're changing the algorithm. And to do that, there's really two solutions. The first would be to simply go into Options, Pools, and edit your existing entry and set it to Unspecified Equihash 1254. This is at the very top of the list and very easy to find. If you're new to the Zelle family or new to mining, this is a great time to start. I would encourage you to check out Zelle Core, which is our multi-asset cryptocurrency wallet that contains over 150 different cryptocurrency coins and ERC20 tokens, as well as the Binance Chain token. This fully featured wallet is very easy to use. To get set up for mining, we would need our Zelle Cash address. So we would come into our Zelle Cash wallet, click on receive, and then copy our Zelle Cash address. For those who would prefer to use Awesome Miner as their solution to mine Zelle, I would recommend visiting the link down in the description to download your copy of Awesome Miner Installer which is the top link here on the download page, and install the software. Once you install the software, you'll be prompted with several wizards to create a new miner. I'm going to ask you to cancel all of those. There's one window that will not let you pass unless you enter in a Bitcoin address, and that's not necessary for mining Zelle. So 
Once you get to the main screen of Awesome Miner, then it's time to create a new miner. So click this New Miner button, and that will take us to the new miner wizard. Go ahead, click on Next. And for this, we're going to choose the Managed Profit Miner because this solution will automatically choose which mining software is best for the algorithm that you're trying to mine. And it will also know which mining software is best for the type of graphics card that you're using. So this is the more fully automated solution. And then if you do want to do profit mining later on, you can always configure that as well. Go ahead, click on Next and name your miner. I'm going to call mine GPU01. Leave your miner host as local and then go over here where it says profit switching and choose the type of graphics card that you're using. In my case, I am on NVIDIA. So I'll set that to NVIDIA, click on next and then finish. And our new profit miner is here. The next step is to add the new pool information. So we'll click on the new pool button and then add pool. Here we can give it a description. We'll call this Kamiuka upgrade. Then we'll need the web address for the pool. So we'll come back over here to the Zell community pool. If you'd like to use this pool to mine, just come over here and click on the get started link. And we're going to select this address right here. I'm going to leave the stratum plus TCP off for right now and just select stratum.zell.cache 2001. Right click copy and we'll paste that right here. Our worker name is going to be our Zell address. So we'll come back over here to Zell Core. When we select our address, copied it, and back to Awesome Miner. And I will right click paste that right there. The worker password is X. And for coin, we're going to scroll up to the top where it says unspecified Equihash 1254. And that's all we have to do to prepare this to run on the Zelle network after the upgrade. Go ahead, click on OK. One last thing to check before we can start mining is to ensure that our software is set to lull miner and you want to make sure it's at least version 0.8.2 because this latest version includes everything that it needs to mine the new Zelle hash algorithm. If that is not set, to Law Miner, it's very easy to adjust. Just click on Options, go to Profit Profiles, and depending on which profile you're using, if you have AMD, highlight this and click Edit, or if you're on NVIDIA, do the same, click Edit, and you'll have a whole list of all of the mining engines that are used within Awesome Miner. And chances are, Law Miner will be somewhere near the bottom of the list, and if that's the case, just select it, and use these arrows to move it around. And I put mine at the very top of the list. That way it will be the first mining engine that's chosen by Awesome Miner to attempt to mine a particular algorithm. So once we have set that to the top and clicked OK, and OK once again, we should be good to start mining this algorithm. So I'll go ahead and click on the Start button. And see this title bar is telling me that we just opened Lull Miner version 0.8.2 and it's starting to mine. Pay no attention to the address that I'm using right here. This is the testnet address. Do not use this address. Please follow the instructions on the getting started page of the Zelle community pool. You will also notice that there is no pricing information currently displayed within Awesome Miner. And if you would like to set that up temporarily, you could do so by creating a coin profile or just be patient and wait for Awesome Miner to make the update so that Zelle is transferred from Equihash 1445 over to Equihash 1254 and then all the pricing information will once again automatically update. Now for those who prefer a simpler method of mining via the command line, I'm going to recommend Mini Z Miner and you could also use Law Miner from the command line but what's really nice about Mini Z is it provides a tool to help configure your batch file automatically and like I said before, they have older versions here for CUDA 8 
as well as the more recent versions for CUDA 10. It's also available for Linux, for some of you Linux gamers slash miners. So that being said, let's take a closer look at one of these. I'm going to download the CUDA 10 version because I'm using a GTX 1080. And here is the file. I've already downloaded it. So just right click and extract all. That'll create this folder here and all of the extracted files will be available. Then what's really nice, just look at this mini Z GUI, double click this, and it gives you a way to configure your batch file. You can name it and then you can input your server slash port number. So in this case, when it comes to setting it up for the Zelle community pool, we're going to put in this address right here, stratum.zelle.cache. 2001 and, all right but the 2001 needs to be in this box right here all right and you can see at the bottom how that command line looks then input your wallet address here you can put a worker name if you prefer I just called mine 1080 and then password is X make sure you set your algorithm to 125.4 it does have an automatic method but it doesn't actually figure it out very well so do set this to 125.4 and that's all you got to do click on start and what's really nice is it creates this batch file here with all of the parameters that you need to run this and then anytime you want to run it just double click your batch file and it'll start running the other thing is if this crashes it's in a loop so it'll automatically restart itself so that you never skip a beat one last thing I'll mention, and this is mostly for the newcomers to Zelle, is the Zelle Core wallet has several quick swap exchange options available right out of the box. And if you want to trade different coins within the wallet, you can do so here. We also have access to the Binance DEX, which is available to all users of Zelle Core. So uh, this exchange is growing day by day. We're seeing more coins being added all the time. And if you would like to make use of the other exchanges here, you would just need to sign up for a Zellcor Plus account, which gives you full access via API to your own Binance Kraken or Bittrex accounts. In other words, you'll be able to control your own accounts right through Zellcor, which just makes it so much easier for you to do on-the-spot trades. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think of this video, what you think of the Zell hash algorithm, and thanks so much for watching, everyone and we'll see you in the next video.